All right, here's a story for all you parents out there struggling with homework at night. Listen to this. Sorry. Right. Traditional homework is a thing of the past at one public elementary school in Maryland. Instead, students are being asked to read about a half an hour every night. Hmm. And so far, students and parents appear to like what's happening. Fox News' John Henrahan has the story. In many ways, the local elementary school in downtown Gaithersburg, Maryland, looks like any other public school. It's got hallways, a cafeteria, a library, and teachers in every classroom. What this school doesn't have is traditional homework. If you look at that indicator. When Stephanie Brandt came aboard as principal two years ago, she and her staff conducted a review of homework assignments. We really started evaluating the work that we sent students home with. Um, we started looking and really it was a lot of worksheets and the worksheets didn't match what we were doing instructionally in the classroom. It was just we were giving students something because we felt we had to give them something. So Principal Brandt got permission from the school district to implement a radical experiment. The only homework assigned here is reading. Fifth grader Ann Rutia got regular homework here as a second grader. Then it went away. But don't you miss those math problems and stuff? Mm, well, that's why we do it in school. Oh, so you do the homework in school? Mm -hmm, and we read at, in our house. How much do you read each night? Like 30 minutes. That's the principal's goal, 30 minutes a night reading for every student. Parents appear to be generally supportive of the abolition of traditional homework. When he comes home, he has relaxing time, and I think kids need like that relaxing time. Principal Brandt believes the generalized order to read something every night is sparking maturation and motivation among many of her students. This was the policy last year, and she actually came home with a calendar and so every night she would check off that she'd, that she'd done her reading homework. In most elementary schools, the class as a group goes to the library once a week. Each kid picks out about two books. The kids tend to finish the books in the first night or two, and then the books spend the rest of the week sitting in the child's backpack, waiting for the next class visit to the library. Here, students are allowed hall passes to go to the library every day, and they wind up reading many more books. Principal Brandt knows this reading-only homework policy is a risk, but so far, the standardized test scores remain solid. In Gaithersburg, Maryland, John Henrahan, Fox 5 News. And I like that she's brave enough to take the risk. Right, and now that I hear that, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> You're like, wait. It's an excellent take, idea. It takes because three we, hours for you to help your children. <laughs> well, in actually, more than that. Oh, my God. Because uh, as we talked about, they're, they're at school all day doing the work. Yeah. So then they have to come on and do it again. It just, you know. Yeah. And now the teacher's makes, there to help guide them through right. it, too. Instead of a parent who's clueless, <laughs> who's like, like me. What? What yeah. math are you doing these days? We can read, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, moving on.